she was gonna come up the next morning and they were gonna hit her in the head with a shovel and they were gonna take her out back to the cow pile after they killed her and put her underneath the lime and the lime, it would have disintegrated her body. I said, they're gonna find her. I put her under the cows that are all dead out there. The cow bones will look like human bones. You'll never be able to know the difference. This is a small community. It's a very rural community. We have crimes that involve murder, but they're very, you, you can explain them. So when you hear that a son uh, has shot his mother uh, and it appears to be over real estate, it strikes you as just being bizarre. And your, your initial instincts are, you know, what is going on? That's just not Franklin County. Since he's 10 years old, he's been, his ass has been in track to seat. Once your ass hits a track to seat, them days are just as long as the full grown man. And all I want to promise. One thing led to another, and I was like, well, yeah, if I do ever want this farm, that's my only chance to get it, it's right there. Bump her off, knock her off, you know, she ain't gonna be around anymore, you know, she's gonna be six feet under. I said, you've told way too many people you want to kill her. Just me and Josh, and then it'd be me and Josh and Jason, and sometimes Pete would be there and Dustin. And... You told your sister? I said, where did you shoot her? I don't know. How bad did you shoot her? I don't know. Well, apparently not bad enough. She drove away. I mean, I did lose some of my childhood. But not really, I mean, the experience something that most kids wouldn't. If you took a city kid to the farm, they'd have the time of their life on it. You know, we used to ride a pig, ride the heifers. You know, it was quite fun to ride a pig. 